When you make a new set, Move automatically chooses four random track presets for each of the four tracks, so you can start experimenting right away. However, you can always customize the four tracks with any combination of instruments you choose by using Move's browser. The way the randomly generated presets are chosen follows an order. The first track will have a random drum preset. The next track is a random bass. The third track is a random pad, synth keys, plucked, or rhythmic instrument preset. And the fourth track is a random synth lead or wind instrument. But on Move, any track can contain any instrument type, and you can always change the instrument with Move's browser. To browse for a different track preset, select the track of the instrument you'd like to change by using one of the four track buttons. Using the wheel, highlight all the icons. This way you are selecting the entire track presets, which contain the instrument device and effects of that preset chain. Click the wheel to enter Move's browser. To save you time, the browser opens directly to the presets, which are neighbors to the current preset in the browser hierarchy. If you're swapping out the bass, for example, the browser will open to other bass sounds. To get to other categories of instruments and sounds, go back further in the browser hierarchy by either scrolling to the top and clicking back, or press the back button. Some drift and wavetable presets feature polyphonic aftertouch, meaning you can continue to play the pads as you hold them by adjusting the pressure you're applying. If you found an instrument preset you'd like to confirm, you can click the wheel and the track will change to this instrument. Melodic tracks on Move, like pads and synths, can have two effects working on the track level. All randomly selected instrument preset chains involve the device, which is the first icon, as well as two effects that are already dialed in, like this one. You can also switch just a single effect by turning the wheel to highlight the effect icon you want to, and then clicking the wheel to open the browser to the effects. Drum tracks also have effects. You can decide how much effect is applied to each drum sampler, as each pad of the drum sampler has its own send level. So you can decide how much effect is applied to each drum sampler, routed to the first effect, which is the third icon. You can change the send level using the rightmost encoder. There are also two main effects which can be applied across all the tracks of the set. You can access these from session mode. I'll press the session toggle to go there. Here I can use the wheel to select and change the two global effects for the set. 